uh, Wednesday night Bible class. And that was also for prayer. If somebody was on the Lord. Well, Father God, thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for the gift of your daughter's son, Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for your word, your knowledge, and your love. Yes. Father God, thank you for allowing us to come out tonight. Thank to you, Lord. Lord, be Father God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you for allowing us to learn about the one who first loved us, Father God. Father, we pray for the teacher that you continue to give him wisdom yes. now on your word, that you continue to let him make it plain, that we get to understand it, Father God, and use it in our everyday lives. Yes. Remember those that are here, those that desire to be here, Father God. Blessings of blessings, grace and Father God. And Father God, we pray that you can continue to allow us to study your word, to show thyself approval. Mm -hmm. For we need you, Father, and we know we can't live without you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Third chapter, and I'll start at the 15th verse. That's what it's saying. I mean, verse 7 7 Timothy 3 15. Start at 3 15. Some of these truths that we brought over from the church, we've been doing our Bible class and teaching. And and we just rehearsed, we refreshed ourselves, and so we find these words. And that from a child thou hast known the, the, uh, the Holy <coughs> Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, the faith which is in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction. For instruction in righteousness and the man of God may be perfect, fairly furnished unto all good works. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking at. That's what we're doing tonight. The works of the word. The works of the word. Uh, uh, Paul, Paul writes to Timothy and says that, first of all, that the word of God is, 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 is wise, makes you wise unto salvation. Yeah. Uh, that means that. Well, I mean, that, that the all scripture is given by the word of God. Mm -hmm. and we saw that that's why that is God who gives us this, this body of truth to use as human eloquent instruments to, to convey it. But everything that is said and written was done by men inspired by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. these, are, these are God's truth. And we, we couldn't come up with it ourselves. We got our own truth and they ain't hurt nothing, but yeah. God gives us a whole body of truth, and that's yeah. the word of God. And the first the first thing that it does that is able to make us wise under under salvation. We were born of the word. Mm -hmm. Right? The word, the word came and quickened us. Yes. Uh, yeah. And it's the word the word conveyed this message that Jesus Christ and he died for our sins, was buried, and was raised from the dead. That was the, that was the word that saved us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that saved us. God, God took that word. And when you heard of it, it has, it has the power to make us alive. Yeah. Uh, quicken us. Uh, yeah. uh, and so Paul writes and said that the, wise, the, word, the word of God is wise in salvation. But it also does some other things, right? It does. It says uh, it gives us uh, uh, it gives us doctrine as good for as good for doctrine. Mm -hmm. uh, that is that is for teaching. Yeah. Uh, that is for the Bible to teach us spiritually. That is able to to, to calm our foundation for every thought and every action that we would do in our lives is based on that body of truth. Uh, mm -hmm. And so it's, it's good for for teaching. Doctrine, uh, no, no other, no other philosophy or, or ideology, and none of that stuff is able to do what God's truth is able to do. It's the absolute truth, you know, he said, that it says to us uh, the truth of God that cannot be overwritten, uh, cannot be, be be pushed aside. It is God's truth that 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 will hold up against 
any, everything, every situation. It is, it is, it is, it is the absolute truth. Men, men, men got, they create their own set of truth because they, 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 they want to make the truth comparable to their actions and their, their thinking. And so this person got a truth and that person got a truth and and remember when, when Paul dealing with the Jews, he said they had a truth. Mm -hmm. uh, the truth is their righteousness. Uh, that they they said that this is what we're gonna follow. And but 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 the Bible says Paul said my, my heart's desire for Israel is that they might that they might be saved, but, but they have a zeal of the not part of the knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, they have set up their own truth, their own righteousness, and, and all sinners establish their own righteousness. They do what's right in their own eyesight. Uh, but there's only one absolute truth that comes that comes from God. Yeah. Uh, God gives it. He he um uh, he has the right to give it first of all because he's the creator. Oh yeah. He made everything. That's right. Uh, he put everything together so he ought to know what makes things work. Amen. Uh, and so and so and so so when he sets it up if you follow his truth, then peace and joy and happiness will proceed from it. But men are rebellious. They want their own truth to do what they want to do themselves. And so they push God's truth aside and establish their own truth. Mm -hmm. And then, then they, they want to make, make, make it the, the, the truth for everybody or, or, or to add some integrity to it. So they say, so they say everybody's doing this. Mm -hmm. But everybody's doing it, you gotta be right. Right? You gotta be very and so they establish that principle that, that, it, that it, is, it, is, it is the truth because everybody is doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and a lot of times they blow they blow their truth up, they exaggerate, right? Mm -hmm. They exaggerate. And, that, and a good good example of that would be homosexuality. Mm -hmm. uh, they 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 took and blew that thing up and made like like it like that there were so many people that were involved in it and so many homosexuals and, and it was acceptable and so forth and they, they, they blew it up until it became, it, uh, from their perspective, it established that. Uh, and that's what men would do. Men would set up, set up their truth and make it uh, an established fact. Uh, but, 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 but God's truth and God's doctrine is what he gives to the church and that's the thing that when we stand on it and, and we establish our lifestyle and establish our life and our deeds and thoughts, it, it, it makes us peculiar. Okay. Jesus said that that Father, sanctify them with, with your truth. Mm -hmm. uh, it is God's truth that takes and sets us apart from everybody else. Amen. Help us, Lord. If, if not, then we do what everybody else does. That's right. Help us, Jesus. And so, so Paul said it, that, that the word of God that, that is given by inspiration of God it is good for is good for doctrine. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what that's what we that's what we preach and that's what we teach. Oh, uh, yeah. We preach the, the doctrine of God given to us in the Holy Scriptures uh, by way of the Holy Spirit. And that's when we establish everything on. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we base everything on God's word. And so if, if, if an argument or disagreement comes up, then we we, don't, we go to, to his word. Mm -hmm. See what he says about the thing. Mm -hmm. And, and that, 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 that sometimes that appears to be a great gray area in terms of the doctrine, where the devil says, well, the Bible says nothing about, about smoking. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's a good, but listen, this body, some, some things are, are implied, this body belongs to God. Amen. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so if you violate the laws in which God has set this body up, then you will run into trouble. Yeah, you know, you, you, you smoke, yeah, and then after you smoke, and then, and then you come out, oh, I hope I don't get cancer. Mm -hmm. It's right on the package, and you smoke. The possibility you get to is right here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and so, so our, our doctrine, the, the, the doctrine that God gives us is, is how we establish the lifestyle 
thinking and action of how we live, and we go we refer back to it instead of refer back to uh, some philosophy or some some uh, uh, wisdom of men. Because God said wisdom of men is what the foolishness. Yeah. You see my TV like hey, wise man. I saw the woman say the the other day she couldn't wait to hear uh, uh, what Obama wife. Yeah, because she got light in her. <laughs> she could she could wait to get a light. I don't know. <laughs> Help us, Lord. But that's that's a that's a, that's the mindset of the world because they think they're intelligent, they're smart. And everybody got their own philosophy and their group is. Uh, if Oprah got her group is, help us, Lord. Yeah. And, and all of got their group is and stuff. And whatever comes out of their mouth, that that other folks will mimic it and 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 want to be like and sound like and take the other people's advice and, and, and right. like like they know something. Right. Yeah, and maybe, maybe that's the truth, right? right. When there's only again, there's only one truth. Amen. Amen. God, God is word of God. Right. But but men men love love that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. huh? They love it, right? They, they, they eat it up. Uh, but we follow it. We know that, that, that the Bible says that, that, that there is a way that seems right to a man. That's right. But in the end, it's the, it's the way of death. Yes. And, and the world is filled with, with philosophers and, right. and folks with all kinds of ideas and concepts and what have you. And, and they're spewing it out, you know, and it all seems so intelligent and so smart. And, and Paul said, what, 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 well the scribes and well wise people of this world, and he said that in reference that none of that stuff that they talk about can elevate you and get you to heaven right. or get you to God. Right. Right. And so Paul said, the body of truth is the, is the doctrine in which, in which, we, which we preach. And men will, will stand in judgment on God's word to depreciate it. Yeah. Huh? Is that, that, that's what the devil did, right? He said to the woman, you got so happy. Huh? <laughs> and then, and then she, she began to vocalize, she began to address him and said, well, he did say that, and he said, he just touched it. And, and what happened, she, she took a position of, of, of being judge, a judgment of what the word of God said. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. Mm -hmm. you know, we're we, we in a crisis situation now, in terms of the church, because we got we got a lot of women who have the idea that they're going to preach come hell or high water. They don't care what the word of God says. They, and, and listen, that's doctrine. He said women should not preach. That's, right. that's part of the truth. And part of the doc. So they have to they have to change that in order to, to, to do what they want to do. They got to twist that's right. the word, that's right. uh, make it say something other than what what it said. Amen. Uh, they would they stand in they would stand in judgment on God's word to make to make it accommodate their 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 action. Mm -hmm. uh, and so Paul said, Paul said it is good for the word of God is good for is good for doctrine. Mm -hmm. uh, well, well, you, if, if it's what you stand on and what you believe, then you ought to study. That's, That's right. Uh, That's right. You can't you can't you can't identify error unless you know. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, so folks, folks are coming to Bible study and don't come to Sunday school, and, and, uh, and so they're caught by every bit of a false doctrine. They're they're captured by it, and they're they 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 they're, they're, they're basing their life on on, on the, the doctrine of God. They're based it on the world, uh, mm -hmm. and so you're based it on the world. You 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 you, you like the wind. Takes you from one to the next, to the whatever is whatever is fashionable to become your thing. Right. Help us all become become your thing. And so he said, it's good for it's good for uh, um, for doctrine. Mm -hmm. uh, he says, it's all speaking to give by inspiration of God. It's profitable for for doctrine, for reproof, mm -hmm. uh, for reproof. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you know, it, it ain't just reproof. All of the sin, but if, but if you you got the doctrine, when you come in, it does something to you too. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we thought we was all right till we came to church. Mm -hmm. uh, we thought everything was all right. We were walking with the Lord, and 
filled with the Spirit, and then all of a sudden the preachers start preaching, and there's some stuff in us Amen. that the Bible, the Word of God touches. Amen. <laughs> and we find out we weren't as tight as we thought we were. <laughs> <laughs> we, we came in feeling pretty, pretty good about ourselves. Mm -hmm. And, but when we got out, it was a different story. But that's what the word of God is. Seek and search out everything that is not of God, is not correct with God, and it, it is there to reprove you to reprove them. Mm -hmm. If we need that. Yeah, you ain't perfect. Yeah. I think some of y'all think I'm perfect. We ain't perfect. We got some we got some ideas in our head that historical that's been stuck there from a child. Mm -hmm. uh, that 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 been nurtured all along, you know, we grew up and we and come hell or high water, we gonna hold on to it because 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 my grandma told me that. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. Yeah. And so the word of God got got to come in. Mm -hmm. yeah, all scriptures we said. The weapons of our warfare is mighty to God for mm -hmm. pulling down the stronghold mm -hmm. and casting down the imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the knowledge of Christ. Mm -hmm. huh? And so there's some things that only the Word of God is able to tear down those high things, those high thoughts that you have protecting the, the main thoughts. Huh? That your, that your reasoning protects, the, that your thought that needs to be checked, but your reasoning protects it. Huh? You, you defend it until you run into the Word of God. Oh, it is yes. powerful. Yes. It is sharper than the two-edged sword. Huh? Oh, yes. able to pierce the bone and the marrow. Huh? Mm -hmm. It goes deep and it, has to, it cuts deep in order to, it, to tear out your reasoning and, and then capture that thought and bring it into captivity to Christ. Yeah. You thought you were right. Mm -hmm. You fought you fought like the Dickens. Huh? Mm -hmm. to make this this how we know I'm gonna do it. This how I'm gonna live until the word got you. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. Mm -hmm. And this thing that tore down your you found your reasoning was faulty. Mm -hmm. uh, it, was, it, was, it was faulty. Yeah. It was based on hearsay. Yeah. It was based on bad information. It was, it was based on, on the world conditioning you uh, and causing you to, to, to accept what it said instead of what God said. Mm -hmm. or if, if, you, if you come long enough, help us, Jesus. You know, God is able to, the Spirit is able to tear that stuff down. And oh, some, sometimes, sometimes He uses sickness and trouble. To tear down our high things, right. oh, yeah, our, our reasoning, and then we come, we come, we get to the point where it causes us to surrender. Mm -hmm. uh, to surrender, Lord, I was wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, and you were right. You were right all, all along. And, and listen, He brings you to a state of of, of, of repentance. Huh? And, and repent, <laughs> repentance is is that is that it's from God is that you agree with him concerning you. That's right. That's right. Uh, but you were defensive, <coughs> and we all defend that stuff, until the Spirit really gets up, and then we repent, and we, we point to us as God points to us, and say, yes, Lord, we, we were wrong. Because he can't help you unless you, you admit you were wrong. That's right. Uh, you, you don't, no excuses. That's right. The Bible does not take any excuse. When it presents the truth, there ain't no excuses against the truth other than your rebelliousness. Mm -hmm. you, you can continue doing what you want to do and continue having the attitude you would have, but you'll find no peace. You'll find that there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a burden that's on you. Uh, and it won't leave until you do the, until you do the right thing. Right. Help us all. Mm -hmm. And so, so, so it's good for doctrine. It's good for reproof, and I said that that reproof at times it, it gets us. It's designed to, to to deal with error and to deal with sin. Uh, it says things about to be wrong. Help us, Lord. And we, we don't like to do that because we don't, we hate confrontation. We, we like that. We, we don't just, but but if, but if God has given it to you, I don't care if you're mine, you gotta say you're wrong. Amen. Uh, Amen. We don't like we don't like fussing and stuff in the church, but if you're in a position, pastor, or deacon, wherever you may be, and, and the person is 
And he said, listen, he, even, he, even if you, you just brought a lay person, and the Bible said, if you don't feel like you're doing right, you go to him, confrontation, and say, listen, you're not doing the word of God said. Mm -hmm. And he said, he tell you where to go to, but you go get somebody else. <laughs> huh? And go back and do the same thing. And when he tell both of y'all where to go, then you bring it before the church. That was the Lord. Mm -hmm. I didn't bring it for the church. And when he put it in the church deal with it, they said, you got to get out of here. Mm -hmm. now, but we're afraid of that kind of confrontation. We think that we're supposed to be all loving, that this is thing, but it, it is love. Uh, yeah. It is love when you tell somebody they in error, that they're wrong, that, but, but if, we, if we placate them, if we, if we treat them like, that they, like nothing is wrong, and then that encourages them to continue and in their mess. Mm -hmm. and, but but in all, it, change comes from confrontation, you know, and confrontation say, listen, you are out of the, the, the will and the word of God, and you, because you belong to the church, you need to be back with us. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can't. We got to treat you with you treat you different. We can't have we can't have that kind of fellowship where you treat people like everything is all right with them, and they and they they you know they they ain't living right. Mm -hmm. uh, they got some stuff going on in their life that is contrary to the, because you remember they're part of the church. Amen. Uh, they're part of the body. Amen. Help us, Lord. Mm -hmm. So if they're part of the body, if they walk the body, then they cause the whole church to mess. Yeah. yeah. Break, break it to the, that's what I, that's what I, that's what I rise to our members. Yeah, they see you mm -hmm. out there doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. That's what I rise to. That reflects against the whole church. Right, man. Yeah. I mean, if the pastor do it, y'all be afraid to, that's it. That's it. Yes, that's that's right. Help us, Lord. <laughs> and so you can't be afraid of, of confrontation. Mm -hmm. You know, we love, we love one another, but if we ain't walking right, then we got a problem. And you gotta be man enough, a woman enough, a Christian enough to say to that person, you, you, you do it wrong and love you. You gotta say to love. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can't say it's condemnation, it's that kind of judgment. You gotta say it's love. Because Paul said, you, you know, if, if you don't treat it that way, then, then you gotta consider yourself. That's right. There's something out there for you, help us, Lord. There's something out there for all of us. Mm -hmm. I right, so, uh, I ain't no more right. I, I make sure I cross my T's and dot it. Maybe I, you know, I'm okay. You know, I'm a big, I'm a big Christian, all that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden, the, the, the Lord allows stuff to come your way. Oh, yeah. And sweep, and sweep you off your feet. That's right. And say, child, what happened to hell? Find out who went down to Pensacola. <laughs> Help us, Lord. Huh? So there's stuff for all of us. So we got if you take you stand, you gotta you gotta you gotta check yourself. Because there's always something out there and we gotta remember that when we when we stand in judgment and criticism of others, that there's always something out there that is capable of causing us to miss the mark. Amen. So it goes for the truth. It says it's probable for doctrine for the truth. But but you can't have you can't if you have the proof, you gotta be able to have what corrections too. Mm -hmm. You can't point out the problem without giving them a, a solution. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times people gonna judge you without without giving you how to correct the thing. Mm -hmm. And how to correct the thing is always in the word of God. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't go to the doctor to find answers for our spiritual problems, I say they can't help us. Mm -hmm. uh, so we 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 err, we have sin. And so, so the correction for that is, is always the word of God. Yeah. And so, but you can't have one without 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 the other. Yeah, I'm, I'm messed up, so so I, I need to know how can I get straight? Mm -hmm. uh, how can I how can I get straight? There's a correction because God God is, is, is the one that's forgiving God. Yeah. Uh, he's, a, he's a forgiving God. He forgives us of all of our sin. Yes, He does. Uh, yeah. And when we try, we try to continue in in our sin. What the Lord does is put something on your behind. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just telling the Lord, he put something on you. Uh, he said, "Those whom I love, I do what? Chastise. Chastise. Yeah. God said, chastise us. You know, He won't let you. He won't let you continue in what you're doing without without sending some chastisement your way. And the reason why He does it is because He loves. He loves. He loves us. When we see children out two, two o'clock and three o'clock in the morning, and the 
parents at home sleeping, that means this, they, they don't love the children. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the problem, they don't love them. You know? If they love them, they discipline them. Yeah, but I don't care about it. Let it be somebody else's problem. I'm, I'm home sleeping. Right? But, but, but God don't play that. Help us, Lord. If you're, if you're out of the out of the, if the, the will of God is not walking in the way of God, then as a father, he's going to send chastisement. Help us, Lord. He sends chastisement in various ways. Mm -hmm. uh, and what, what, one of the ways that he sends with, with us is that we, we lose the sense of his presence. Yeah. Help us, Lord. That goes first, mm -hmm. right? And then come, then he use whatever else you want to do. Sometimes sickness, sometimes trouble. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If you're headlong, you won't listen to nobody, uh -huh. he allow you to fall into those traps that are out there. Mm -hmm. uh, and he be calling somebody to come down there to get you. Okay. And then when all that fails, right? That there's a sin unto death. Well, you could because you all you, you belong to him, you could you, you could sin where God just killed you. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. That's right. You, you, you represent him, right? He saved you to represent him. Amen. 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 He saved you to represent him. Yeah. You're, you're a spokes person. Mm -hmm. And here you are, he done said sickness, and, and you swore, the Lord, if you just get me up this time, I'm going to be so good. And so as soon as you get up, then you go right back and you back again. And God do you good again and again and again. And then, then God just gets sick and tired of you. Mm -hmm. And you just take us away. We can't, we, can't, we, can't, we can't take away the salvation because the salvation is not predicated on your action, mm -hmm. on lack of action, is it? Help us, Lord. We're saved by grace. Grace through faith is the gift of God. Mm -hmm. So God can't take the, the gift and calling of God is not repentance. He can't take it back. He can't. He can't. He can't unborn you. You belong to Him. Amen. Uh, but He can hear you because you represent Him. Amen. He got a reputation in this thing. Uh, he got, he got, when Jesus said that 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 that, that he was never know why I'm leaving off the table here. Uh, and you, you say you want to learn to do what you want to do, and you want you want you want to say, listen, Jesus, I'm going to this place, but you stay out here, you back out, I come back out. <laughs> you don't do that. Wherever you go, you go with him. Mm -hmm. You done, you done stuck your little self into the nightclub like old time, uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and there you are in the corner back there, all your yeah. favorite drink, uh, <laughs> and then and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, somebody come and say, hey. Hey, look at that Keanu over there. That's why I just thought, no, that's here. Child, there you are. You're back to drinking your stuff again. Shame you, shame you, shame you, shame you. Help us, Lord. And so, and so correction is necessary. God corrects us. Thank you, Lord, for correcting me. Thank you for putting the build on me. Thank you, Lord. For afflicting me. Thank you, Lord. Because he doesn't love us. So reproof, and then and then there's the correction. And now because we have that going on, and we just settled that, now we got instruction, right? Mm -hmm. And these instructions are instructed to righteousness. Mm -hmm. Now we got to instruct you how to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. uh, the world had a way of showing you to do it. Uh, the world has got a way of showing it, but it's always contrary yeah. to what, what God said. Uh, it all is, has been instructing us from conception up until we were saved. Mm -hmm. We got 14,000 hours of instruction from the school system. From we, we had to sit and listen to the political system, the social system. All of that, put all of that stuff in your head and your life and lifestyle was based on all of the, their instruction. How to be happy? You want to be happy? Is that get you some liquor. You want, you want, you want love? Get you some sex. You want, you want, you want, you want, you want, you know, the constant instructing you and all that instruction was faulty based on this world mm -hmm. that could not lead to joy and peace in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, the first part of instruction, the first part of instruction is how, how are you going to deal with God? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. How are you, how are you? But they, they but that, that he becomes not, uh, not consequential because to them, God is living everything. That's right. So we will make him what we want him to be. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so 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 that's the first part of instruction. So, you, know, you know, do what you want to do. You know, you ain't gotta worry about that kind of stuff. But but then when we're saved, we understand that all the instructions of the world 
is faulty, mm -hmm. demonic. Uh, and you gotta be careful because even, even in the church, you can get some demonic instruction in the church, even in the church. So you gotta be careful because if they're not doctrinally sound, you know, the, the, the doctrine is not to be added or taken away. Uh -huh. The Mormons say, wait a minute, we're gonna add to it. We don't need the Book of Mormon. We need the Book of Mormon to go with, with, with the doctrine of Christ. We need the Book of Mormon. Well, then you got Christian science say, wait a minute, we're gonna, we're gonna add to it too. We're gonna give you health and science. You need that. Uh, you remember? Yeah. And so, so they add, they add or twist the doctrine uh, in order to, to perpetuate their demonic uh, uh, truth. Uh, because the death of the devil to come and steal, kill, and destroy is, is to cause, he can't, he can't, you can't fall for your salvation, but you can, you can, you can mess, you can mess your, your reputation up so bad. Your testimony is so bad. Uh, and the devil knows that. Uh, once you're saved, you're saved, but you can mess it up so bad that, that nobody believes you. Subsequent action to happen 
after you've been saved. I ain't got to sit on the mourner's bridge and wait for nothing. Huh? Because when I'm born again, huh, everything I need has already been deposited in me. Yes, we had this treasure, yes, you know, for an earthly vessel, that the power of God, and our, God has given me everything I need for time and eternity when I'm born again. Oh, yeah. Oh, help us, Lord, and put my name in the Lamb's book of life. Yes, Lord. Uh, and say, now listen, my instructions are to shine as an example. He made me in his image mm -hmm. that when people see me, mm -hmm. they see him. Yes, Lord. And when he's tired, when he's finished with me, regardless, when he's finished with me, when he has used me to hear his flesh and do his work and his work, then he takes me out of here. Oh, yeah. It may be early, it may be late. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. <laughs> I got to go see a woman tomorrow. Tomorrow, 95 years old. Yeah. Spencer, my brother Spencer, is out to his mother-in-law. She's 95 today. Amen. Oh, yeah. Lord. But, but that don't, your age don't give you a walking pass into heaven. Right. Come on, Jesus. Right. You got to be what? Right. You got to be born again. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and there's a dawn when you're born again by way of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Like that, you have power to save you. When you when you hear when you hear the good news, yes, Lord. what is the good news? The good news about who? Jesus. About the good news about Jesus. Oh, uh, yeah. That he, that he was our substitute. Yeah. That he came and died in our place, Amen. and God was pleased with his death yes, and pleased Lord. with his life. God God imputed the righteousness of a righteous life of Christ and put it on us and took our lie who was in us and placed it on him, laid on him the iniquity of us all, oh, yeah. and he died. Yes, yeah, he died. Yeah, he, died. Yeah, he didn't stay there. I took, God was pleased with it. Huh? Yes, Raised him from the dead. Help us, Jesus. And the evidence, the evidence of who he said he was, who he is, huh, is that he said, when I get home, I'm going to say another one just like me. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, of course, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, listen, that's an evidence, right? And listen, when he came, he came testifying not of himself, that's right. but he came testifying of Jesus. Yes, Lord. He told him how wonderful he is, yeah. how marvelous he is. Yeah. Well, help us, Jesus. And my spirit, I agree with his spirit that I am a child of yeah, God. Yeah, I'm an heir yeah. and a joint heir. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, 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 indeed. Yes, indeed. But look, we, we, got, we, got, we got our genesis from the scripture. The mm -hmm. Bible told us so. Uh, it, gave, it gave us in the Old Testament that is his uh, anticipation. In the New Test, in the New Testament, he comes in, in, in his uh, what you call it? Uh, 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 <laughs> well, uh, he's, he's born man and, and man and God. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And he was born, and then in, then in the, the, the epistles we get the, the explanation, and then in in in, in, uh, in, in uh, 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 Revelation we get uh, what we get we get his glorification. Mm -hmm. But it all has to do with him. Yeah, his whole Bible has to do with him. Right. The Old Testament with his types and shadows, yeah. the New Testament with the reality of his personhood, they say Emmanuel. Oh, yeah. God is with us. Yes, Help us, Jesus. Yes, and then the explanation, all of his epistles talked about why he came, why yeah. he died, yeah. rose yeah. from the dead, yeah. went back to heaven, and then, then Revelation gives us uh, the, 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 his coming back Give us his glorification that the Son of God comes back to claim what is right for the head. Yes, oh, help us, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. And, and, guess, and guess who he's bringing with him? Oh, Lord, help us, Lord. Help us, Jesus. He, he, don't, he don't leave me in the grave, remember? Amen. He don't leave us in the grave. Oh, uh, he, uh, he comes the first time, he, comes, he snatches us away. Mm -hmm. Uh, and those who have died, the Bible says the trump of God shall sound in the day of his Christ shall arise. And Paul's thinking that he's going to still be alive. He said, we who are alive. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. you know, I remind you, having to me now, yes. that we 
who are alive, I don't mind having to be now. I, I know he took the state out of death. Yes. And the state of death is what? It's sin. Yes. And the strength of sin is the law. He took the state out of death, but all death can do is bring you to your God yes. in a transport, in an RTA, help the Lord, oh, yes. to deliver you right in the presence oh, of God. Amen. Oh, bless his name. Yes. Oh, help us, Lord. And so all this we learn from what we learn from the doc from the doctrine. Mm -hmm. God gives us the whole story in detail. Yes, from, from beginning to end. Yes, from, right. from, 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 from eternity to past to eternity to future, he puts it, he puts it, he puts it right here. Mm -hmm. uh, he puts it right in his book. Uh, and, and, listen, and then he gives you, he gives you the power to believe, to think, Amen. To believe, Amen. and to rest and lean on it. So when you, when, when death start knocking, when sickness start coming, when years start passing, huh, you got this. Uh, if I heard the house is dissolved, we have a new oh, yeah. We got another building. Yeah. All, that, all that part of the doctrine that holds us together and holds us, well, we don't panic, we don't fall apart, we don't throw up our hands in hopelessness, because he is our hope, he's our blessed hope. Yes, yes. That says he, he said he, he, he ain't finished with us. Amen. Help us, Lord. And so it's good for correction, instruction in the righteousness. Teach us how to live right. Mm -hmm. uh, not let not let not be swayed by this world in pursuit of prosperity, in pursuit of, 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 of health and, and all that other stuff that they're in the material thing. Uh, all the other stuff that they would have you in pursuit of when listen, the Bible says that he that, that the Father has given us the kingdom. He said by the by, 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 by peace shall give us the kingdom. Yes. Give us our we got we got his love. We have everything that we need to live this life to the fullest, to the full capacity, because God has done what he did for us. Oh, yeah. And so it all begins with the doctrine. With his word, with his teaching, what he explains to us, what he did for us. And the reality of it is that we have his Holy Spirit. We have the, we have the author, help us, Lord. You had, how many of you, 1,200 men write his Bible? I think, I think I read that somewhere. But they were acting under the power of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, but listen, we have the author. It's enough, it enough that they wrote it, but we got the author <laughs> who put this thing together oh, yeah. Yeah. that resides in me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who yeah. leads, even if I was blind, who leads and guides me oh, yes. 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 in the all truth. Yes, Lord. Yes. Help us, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. And so that, that's our lesson tonight. Praise the lesson God. that. Paul's gift to Timothy, so you don't be afraid, people who are abused and know how to handle the church and this and all that other stuff that came about that his mom and grandma implanted in him and told him from that youth, they, they exposed him to the word of God and just piled it all up. And that, that's our problem in our church is that, is that there's no young people, they leave them at home. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they let the television to uh, indoctrinate them, yeah. let, the, let the community indoctrinate them. And so by the time they're grown, they have no connection to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so they're, they're perverted. Mm -hmm. they, got, they got calm faces, but they're feelings. Mm -hmm. They graduate from, from college and high schools and all of that stuff, but they're whores, yeah. and murderers, and killers, mm -hmm. and fornicators. Well, how do you do that, friend? Well, Jesus said. Yeah, that's right. He said, you got, you got all that in your heart. That's right. right? You got all that in your heart. It ain't, it is, it, everything is deposited right in your heart of deceitful. All that's in your heart. And so unless a man been born again, mm -hmm. that stuff will seep out. That's right. <laughs> he said, make it happen. Well, either that you're self-righteous. Mm -hmm. Either way, you're on your way to hell. Lord, that's yeah. right. On your way to hell. And so, the word of God is waiting to save. We can't. 
and to give and to give you an assurance. Help us. Yeah, he said, this is not T.L. Franklin, this is Roger Shaw, Mr. Nancy Baptist Church. This has been our 7 o'clock Wednesday night Bible class. Come and join us on Wednesday night at 7. Church service is at, uh, at 11 o'clock. Bible uh, Sunday school is at 9.30 in the morning on Sunday morning. Come and hang with us a while. We won't keep you too long. So don't, don't come here crying and all that kind of stuff. Come here, come here worshiping and praising God. Amen. 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 Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, Lord. Unplug yourself. <laughs>